Hi guys, um, I'm still having trouble with my videos and getting them uploaded, but I'm gonna stick to this and we're gonna ride it out to the end of the season, okay guys? So again, I apologize, but I'm I'm still having trouble. I don't know what's going on, but anywho, True Blood episode 10 was called I Smell a Rat. We finally find out what the hell is Sookie. Yes, we can finally talk about it on film, on camera. Sookie is half fairy. She's half fairy. That's why the light come out of hand, all that good stuff. Now, I thought it was interesting, all the different names they have for the fairies, especially Alien. And what I also thought was so interesting is that the fairies were freaking wiped out by vampires. Part that pissed me off. When Lafayette and Crystal and Jesus and her dad arrive to Lafayette's house, you know, Lafayette obviously is going to give him some B. I kind of figured that out. And when it actually heals the man, like, he gets up all mad, like, you let these fags put vampire juice in me and he slaps her. I'm like, oh my goodness, so trashy. Sam is officially a sucker. Let me tell you, when he had the flashback, you know, and the girl stole all the stuff from him, like, Sam's been a sucker since, like, 2003 and probably even before that. Sam is a sucker, y'all. And my thing is, why put that at the end of the season now? Bill is continuing to lie to Sookie and he is pissing me off. I do not like Bill officially. Eric is willing all of his stuff over to Pam and Pam is just like, look, you're just going to give up? Like, what the hell are you doing, Eric? You're not even going to fight? And Eric's like, look, just shut up. I know what I'm up against and I'm willing my stuff over. There's no, you know, discussing it. Love how Nan Flanagan is playing cleanup and she compares Russell's stunt to Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm like, oh my goodness. Good job though, Nan. So we find out what Eric found out from Hallie, which is that Sookie's blood legs vampires walk in the sun. My thing about that was when Eric asked Bill, Bill, does Sookie's blood let you walk in the sun? Bill doing all this damn lying, why he just ain't lie to Eric and say no? And I thought it was weird for Eric just to come by just to talk and say goodbye and leave. I just found that whole scene weird. Love when Arlene is watching Mr. Newland on TV and who knew the Fellowship of the Sun people was going to show up? I kind of had a feeling. But how she was watching them and, and she's like agreeing with everything he's saying, you know, and Jessica gets upset and she's like, you know what? I don't like skinny bitches with bad die jobs and, and they're narrow minded or whatever she says. She was like, but I keep my mouth shut up about it. Like Jessica just snapped. I love that part. Tommy trying to put the moves on Jessica, it just didn't work. The Hoy and Summer scene where she like puts his hand on her boob and she's calling him bear. I thought that was hilarious. Love when Tara and Bill and all them are in the same room. And Tara is saying she's gonna do what she has to do to survive. I love that about Tara. Jesus and Lafayette doing V. I love when Lafayette was like dropping it like it was hot. And they were like tripping out. Like how did they see all that stuff while doing V? You know, uh, Jesus' grandmother and the things she used to do. Lafayette's grandmother. La um, Jesus' grandfather. I thought all of that was so weird. So this is what is making me think Jesus is something. Like he probably practices witchery or something. He needs Lafayette's help. I, I don't know. Holly, the new waitress at freaking Merlot. I officially don't like her because let me tell you, when Arlene told Terry that that wasn't his baby and Terry was still like, it doesn't matter, we're just going to love him, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh my goodness, you know, now she doesn't have to get rid of it, but she still went to Holly to get rid of it and they're going to get rid of that baby and I think they're just going to tear Terry apart. Jason confessed to Sook that he killed eggs and Sook's like, look, you have to tell Tara. Jason tells Tara after Tara's, you know, he goes to give her breakfast and she's just, you know, thanking him and so appreciative and he kind of puts that on her, you know, and it's just like, okay. I thought Tara was going to like beat Jason's ass, but she was just stunned, you know. And when Tara and Jason were kissing, I was like, oh my gosh, because y'all know Tara used to have a thing for Jason, you know, when he was doing the beat. She used to have a thing for him. So I was like, oh my goodness, what is this going to come to? But then he told her that he killed eggs and it was just like over. 
Sookie little dumb self go to Fantasia and ask Eric why can't she trust Bill. And instead of Eric telling her that truth, he tells her that it would be a shame for him to meet the true death and not have even kissed her. Sookie, so as naive as she is, she falls for it, right? Sookie was all into that kiss. I don't care what nobody says. Sookie was into that kiss and she wanted that kiss. Because it finally wasn't a dream, you know? They actually kissed and like, they were into it, you know? Pam interrupts and Pam is like, look, I need to talk to you. And Eric's like, what? It better be good. Pam basically tells Eric, look, you're choosing a human over yourself. I can't believe you're just giving up. And when Eric kind of lashes out at Pam, she's like, look, you would have did anything to save Godric, so you should understand how I feel. Which I, I honestly agree with Pam. To see Eric kind of giving up, like he's really just about to get killed, is like strange to me. Russell goes and finds him a towel to look like and like stakes the dude. Russell has really tripped out and he's still carrying Talbot in a jar. I wonder if it stinks. Love the part when Hoyt goes to tell Jessica, you know, hey, if you can tell me that you don't love me and look me in the eye, I'll leave you alone. You know, I want to be with you. I accept you. I love you. And Jessica's all distraught, right? So Hoyt leaves and Tommy tries to go after Hoyt and Hoyt just like hits Tommy like he's a little rag doll. Tommy turns into a pit bull. He goes and attacks Hoyt as a pit bull. And when J Jessica comes back out there to go after Hoyt, and she just picked that dog up and, like he was a little rag doll and just threw him. And the dog was like, Whoa? like that was so funny to me. And I also found it interesting that Hoyt did not want to drink Jessica's blood. Another interesting part, the part where Bill goes back to Jason's and realizes Sookie's gone, and he's like telling Jason, you know, you were supposed to keep her safe, you know, what do you, you know, he's giving Jason a real hard time. And Jason's like, look, you know how Sookie is, you know, and, and Jason is already going through enough, you know what I'm saying? He just confessed that he's a murderer, you know, he's coming to grips with all this stuff. And when he took back his invitation for Bill to come in his house, how Bill had to leave, I thought that was strange. Then Jason hears a noise, right? He goes in his room and it's a panther. And then it's Crystal. I do not like the way they made the panthers look. You know, it was so animated and just, I didn't like it. Because with the werewolves, they actually use actual werewolves, you know? And with the panther, it just looks so fake. You know what I'm saying? So now we know what Crystal is. We, well, we don't really know what she is. We know she's an animal. You know, we know she's a panther-looking thing. But what you all have told me is that she's a were-panther. And nobody has ever been able to explain to me what, what a were-panther actually is. And the end, Eric locked Sookie up in the basement, chained her neck. You know, he's going to basically try to fight to save himself. Now, this episode was really kind of boring to me because I'm just so ready for the action and for them to tie everything together. You know what I'm saying? And we only have two episodes left. And you know on the last episode, they're going to leave like a cliffhanger and we're going to have to wait way till next year and to find out what happened. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, oh, what is going on? But thank you guys for continuing to ride with me again. I'm going to continue to try to get these videos up on time, but just things happen. I don't know what's going on, if it's YouTube, if it's my program that I use or what. But anyways, bye guys. Hope you guys enjoy your week, and I'm so ready for Sunday.